strain is the ratio change in dimension to its original dimension. The formula of strain is the change in dimension over its over original dimension, so, it has no unit. There are three types of strain, longitudinal strain, bulker volume strain, and shear strain. All three types have the same formula with delta L over original L. Longitudinal strain have the formula of delta L over original L, it's the changes in length. While bulker volume strain has the formula of delta volume over original volume. The last one is shear strain, it's the most confused one because it has something to do with angle. The deformation of the shearing force is changed by angle. The angle changed called shearing angle or theta. The force acting on the upper caused the surface above to move by delta L. The formula for shearing strain is delta L over the original length. These are properties that stress and strain have, but, do you know there are a limitation for everything? Stress by strain is the formula for Young's modulus and it's the limitation of elasticity. As shown in the graph, the Young's modulus can be directly proportional until one point. At this point, it is called proportional limit. The object is still elastic until the yield point the object will lose its elasticity. It can still stretch until the point called ultimate tensile strength. A little more the object can stretch out and break at the fracture point. See, most of the object around us are elastic, ball, chair mattress, tambourine and many others. But watch out don't reach its fracture point. Bye.